Hi, I'm Sky Crystal, I'm culturally confused and creatively liberated and today I'm filming a plant chores video and I've got loads of repotting to do and I'm really excited to do it because it's been a long time coming. Um, so let's get into it shall we? So the first one I want to repot is this beautiful plant. <laughs> Which is going to be interesting. I'm wondering where to put it afterwards, so I'm going to give it some TLC. Okay, so I took a little break from filming and finished up some of the potting, um, but I've got a couple of bits to still pot up in my IKEA greenhouse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that quickly. Um, yeah, I've got a few anthuriums to pot up and a few monsteras to pot up, so I'll quickly pop those up and then. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, maybe make pancakes, I'm hungry but not hungry enough to make food yet, so that's why I'm repotting, still, so yeah. Okay, so 
I'm sat down. I'm going to stand up. So, I thought I'd give you a little tour of some of the plants that I repotted. Sorry about Milo chewing up a pot in the background. And let's go through them because, um, yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, this is the, the layout that I've gone with for the moment. I changed it around last night. I added this little shelf thing, which I kind of broke and then makeshifted back to a somewhat shelf-like structure. I thought I would go through some of the plants and the layout that I've got going at the moment um, that I, and the plants that I repotted today. So first up, up top we've got the Anthurium vecchii which I repotted into Soil Ninja Anthurium and Orchid mix. There's still a couple of plants that I need to repot pot, but I'm, I'm tired so I'm going to stop now. And then I repotted this beautiful Indonesian marble Adansonii monstera and it's in a clear pot and I'm really happy about it and I repotted my monstera Adansonii aurea as well and who else did I pot? my scissors discolor which is amazing. I can't wait for this one to grow. I'm literally so excited. And last night I also repotted this one because I couldn't wait and it was a little bit leany, which it still is, but that's fine. We'll go with that. And I also repotted my Monstera elbow after it was rooting in water for a few months. And now it's ready for soil. So I popped that in Soil Ninja Mix. And this is the layout i've added some books there you can't really see them but that's awesome i love it i absolutely love this layout now i i enjoy sitting here working and stuff hi and yeah it's just a little vibe really and then on this shelf i moved it all around and it's a lot neater than it was and you can see all the um all of my Hoya doing really well under this grow light. I, I basically got it from my friend. I'm literally so grateful for this grow light. It's changed the colour of the leaves on my Hoya Sunrise from green, which were like this beautiful green, but it's actually gone to the actual colour it should be. And I put all my other Hoyas underneath it. Not all of them, some of them. And then I'm going to add another grow light here and here. But I want to get another IKEA cabinet and Millsbow and put it here and then move this shelf into the window put this on top of it as well as all the books and stuff and then have some space underneath so some plants and some books some storage for all of my art stuff and things that is to come so I'm going to do that at some point and then basically move it all around again and add some more plants in look what he's doing Stop it. <sighs> this is a pot graveyard where Milo has chewed them all and this is just today. And then on this side um, I need to still add some more grow lights. This grow light needs sticking up again. Which is awesome. That never stays. It never stays here. So that's great. Um, I need to get a couple more grow lights here and here to kind of match the vibe and then down there as well. And I've got this beautiful grow light here from Grow Gang and it everything's growing really well. This is pushing out a new leaf. I'm hoping this one pushes out a new leaf as well. And the lighting, I've just recently moved this down here to see if the light will um, bring out more of the variegation in this Alocasia Frydeck variegata. And yeah, everything's growing really well in this area. So um, I've got a new leaf on the bow, I wanted to call it a baobab tree then. It's not a baobab tree below bab I'm not sure what it's called sorry and a new leaf coming on the crystallinum silver blush and I'm so excited about that and the fried egg has a new leaf as well that's being pushed out yeah and then I repotted this anthurium today this one I repotted when I got it so it should be fine and this one I also repotted when I got it so it should be fine so 
I'm happy with what's going on there. And I repotted this, Florida Ghost. And then, over here in the greenhouse cabinet, I potted up a Monstera elbow snipping and separated one of the Monstera Adansonii aurea variegatas and then also potted up Philodendron Splendid into some Soil Ninja Mix and another Baby Splendid into some Soil Ninja Mix and I've got some Thrips treatment, early treatment, so I've got a coming as well in the post, so that should arrive next week. Because I had an issue with thrips and got rid of half of my collection, that's why I ended up getting new plants to make myself feel better, I'm not gonna lie. And then, yeah, I've got a few props and stuff going on. I repotted these two Monstera Adansonii variegatas and also potted up. Monstera Oblica Peru, Monstera Mint Variegata, and the Warraquinum Anthurium. And they're looking great! I'm really excited to see these grow now and just chill into the, the growth phase. It's coming out of summer now into autumn, but I'm hoping now that they're in their new soil homes that they're going to grow and just blossom. At least give me one leaf, that would be great before winter and I'm sure they'll continue to grow throughout winter as well. <coughs> Milo, <laughs> Milo, now's not the time to chase your tail and be loud. He's insane. And distracted. <laughs> okay. Hi! Oh. You wanna say bye bye? Yeah, so today was good. I just kinda chilled into it and I'm like, I don't really know what else to say, but thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye!